Right, are we rolling? We're rolling. I think we're rolling. Hey, look! We're rolling! Wow! Neat! Uh, look at these things turning, 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 turning round, turning, turning round. And so today, look, I, I reorganized this this sort of horrible unorganized mess out here and I put in some big wheels, I got a saw, I've got a, a turntable, a millstone, I got one turntable and a millstone, where is it at? Yeah, it's at SevTech. Anyway, um, so today on SevTech we are going to be doing some complex stuff. Uh, how complex? Well, it's probably going to drive me a little bat mad um, crazy because I've been watching lots of videos, reading Reddit and trying to figure out how this next step goes because it's basically it's like a filtered hopper and then it's a haberdash and then we've got to use this system to blow air into the haber haberdash thing. Ha haberdash? Isn't a haberdash a thing? Uh, isn't a haberdash a... Um, uh, a haberdash is like cotton and and thread and stuff. Habashi. That's what we're gonna make. A habashi. We're gonna like uh, stoke, make a stoked fire for our cauldron and cru crucible, so we can get and make some steel ingots. Now, I th this. I'm pretty sure this is pretty much almost impossible. But w we're gonna try it anyway. We're gonna try and build that today. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we don't become a little too unstuck. Right. What's the first thing we need to build after that intro? Filtered hopper. I, th I think I think we'll start there. Um, there's sort of several things at once, and I was having a look through um, tutorials and stuff, and I was like, how does anyone build any of the stuff that looks ridiculously complicated? I, I just don't get it. I don't see how it works. Right. Um, I brought my nether stuff over here. Probably not quite the right thing, but we'll do that anyway. All right, filtered hopper. Well, that was an easy quest. Now the first question immediately becomes, how do we use the filtered hopper? So, as far as I can tell, from the tutorials, that's not right, is we hook it up somehow to this whole system here. So that'll turn to there, that'll turn to there, and that means anything we put in here should should, should grind up. Um, what happened to that soul sand I grinded up? I grinded up a whole heap of soul sand. What did with it? What did I do with it? Where did I put it? Wow, this, we're off to a great start here. Uh, nope. <laughs> I'm sure I put it in this thing for later use. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, let's grind a little more. We'll grind a little more. I'm pretty sure... That's sort of how that goes into there. Now last time this made a horrendous noise, but because we got the muffler on, we are cool to go. Right, so that will grind up some of that. Uh, what the heck did I do with all the soul sand? Well, it's lost. <laughs> it's gone. But yeah, I'm so glad I tidied, finally tied all this up. It was a horrible part of the base that really didn't work. That doesn't grind in there. It's manual. The one thing I got to show you off the... Um, of my new construction and it's not working. Why is it not working? Everything's turning. It should just grind up in there. Yeah, see? It does do it. It does do it. Why is it not doing it? Soul sand. Do it. Do it. Do it. Soul sand. Nether. Oh, nether rack will do it too. What's that with nether rack? <laughs> Fine. Nether rack goes in. Is that doing it? Yeah, that's that's going to do it. Okay, right. So we've got this filtered hopper thing. Hopefully this is connected right and this will work. Basically, um, well, we don't want to... Yeah, this is what we want to do. We want to make... Ground nether rat goes in. Oh, filtered. Okay. So soul sand is our filter mechanism. Okay. So filter goes in. Ground nether rat go... No. How? What? No, come on, hang. Hmm. Ah, so, I'm so confused. I am, like, okay. So there's the filter. How do you filtered hopper? Yeah. Oh, throw. Ah. Oh. Mm. This. This. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Throw. 
Oh, wow. What what do we need the ends for? This thing is fast. Look. Chick, 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 chick. Oh, 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 no, wait, 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 no, <laughs> don't do those. <laughs> wow, what, what do we need the urns for? Did, did we need the urns for some particular use? Uh, coal, cauldron? Do I have a cauldron? Um, cauldron. Don't I have a cauldron, like, up by in the, um, in the house? I'm sure I have a cauldron up here. That's, that's what this is. Yeah! Yes! Okay. Show recipes. Wait. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We have cauldron and stoked cauldron. How can I stoke a cauldron if I don't have the, the... Oh no, it says it's cooking. It's going to be a really slow process by the looks of it. Okay, so... Why? So it looks like it works. It looks like it, it does work, but it's really, really slow. So why those are cooking up, we need to make a heating element, which is blaze powder, redstone, and anything, I think, by the looks of it. Any kind of stringy, stringy thing we can use to make a heating element. Now, I have all that stuff, so that part of the recipe should not be too complicated, one, one hopes. Uh, yeah, yeah, we think we're thinking that. Um, so let's grab one of those. I think that will do is that. And then what was the other component? Blaze powder. Well, I have, I got so much blaze powder. That was such an awesome run. Okay, let's get this heating element on. Oh, I have to chuck that in the cauldron too. Oh, fine. 10,000 steps. We're doing our 10,000 steps today. 10,000 steps. And it's, it's cooking. It's cooking. It's almost done. Come on, give it to me. Yeah, we got our heating element. Right. <laughs> Oh man, oh, I don't feel like I've really made much progress this session, but boy, heesh. Okay, so we should be able to make this, da 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 da, and habachi. So the way this is going to work is we're going to put one of these in here, and there's going to be some bellows or some such nonsense here, right? You got it? Yep. The bellows will blow the hibachi here, which means we need to plump that down there. Okay, so this should just be able to go right here. Okay, cool. Um, but it's not on fire, so I'm not quite sure what to do next. Um, bellows. Probably that makes sense to make bellows. I'm probably also going to need a flint and steel to light that sucker on fire. So let's at least get that done. Um, flint and steel, and that should do that, and then hopefully, very hopefully, there we go, cool, so that's looking pretty normal, now we need to put bellows in, bellows, right, uh, bellows, 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 are these things, um, and leather, 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 leather. Wet tanned leather. Well, that's slightly annoying because all I've really held on to is regular leather. I mean, why would you hold on to wet tanned leather? Like, heaps of regular leather. Raw hide. I can't even remember how to make wet tanned leather. Um, ground resin and water. See, it's complicated stuff. Uh, dried hide. Right, I'm going to go grab that because that's a boring process we've done already. Alrighty, we are getting there. I'm finally, I've collected up a lot of the parts that I actually need to make these bellows. Uh, bit of, bit of a pain, bit of a pain quest, but I've got all the leathery stuff. I've got all the bits. I think I can build that. Uh, let's put some of this back. That goes in there, that goes in there. I don't know, can't remember where I got all the slime from, but... I'm pretty sure it was from killing slimes and oh it was killing the slimes in the twilight forest that's where i got all that from okay let's grab those bellows and we got bellows <laughs> okay we are making we are making progress um all this is basically so we can make nether bricks so we can get to steel ingots which is where we got stuck in the last session okay bellows right bellows so these should be able just to go here and 
It doesn't look like they're rotating. There was some, something about rotating. Um, powers, craft mechanically powered bellows to stoke your better with mods. Habachi! Shift click with both ha empty hands to rotate this block. Oh, there we go. Right, uh, does... <laughs> Is that how it works? Do I need to go over here? Everything's really quiet, actually. That's really weird. Okay, so that that looks like that. Now, the problem here being that it's fully inflated, and for it to not be inflated, I think, we need, to, we need it to go up and down, up and down, and it's not doing that. Uh, and I thought this would be a bit of a challenge. I'm, I'm pretty sure this was going to be my nightmare um, pretty much. Okay, come on. Work. Ah! Ooh, 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 that actually rotates it. Okay, didn't pick it up for a change. Okay, well this is interesting. I've stuck a little lever on the side and it goes up and it goes down and it goes up and it goes down. So that might be how we make the fire. Okay, let's try it. And it goes blue. <laughs> oh, but it turns off after a while. Um, that kind of cool. That's kind of, kind of, yeah. All right, um... Why does it go off? Why do you go off? Just stay lit. Stay lit, man. Stay lit. All right. So, but I think I think that's essentially as far as as that needs to needs to work. So, I'm thinking I'm thinking that might be enough to get um, use logs or sawdust and a stoke cauldron to create pot ash. So that's that's what we're making is a stoked cauldron um a, a stonk cauldron uh can we just can we just i just need a, a cauldron just quickly do i dare go grab the other one um it's pretty straightforward to make a a cauldron uh let's just just have i still got the clay on me yes i do i still got the clay on me we'll just make a very quick little cauldron i think this turns into a cauldron we could use the turntable, that would work. Um, so that should work in there. And then basically we've got to make, says use logs, planks, or sawdust in a stoked cauldron to create potash. Well, I have stacks of sawdust. So let's use that. I mean, so far I've just been, you know, to, to make the food go a little bit further, I just put a little bit of sawdust in it. Uh, no one seems to notice, uh, but it doesn't doesn't quite know there's a certain amount of sawdust you can put in food before before people will notice All right, let's get that in um, that can go there boop, boop. and there okay there's our cauldron chuck in some sawdust I don't know how we keep it lit though that's the annoying thing now oh yeah I'm just gonna end up setting fire to stuff is that enough to make it work no why won't you stay lit It keeps going out. It keeps going out. It's not enough. Stay lit. Stay lit. Okay. Well, that's today's problem. Um, <laughs> why does my habashi hab keep going out? Huh. <laughs> okay. I probably should have read the description because pretty much on, off, on, off, on. Yep. Yeah, you get the idea. All right. Let's let's crank it up. Let's crank it up. Now there is a way to actually automate this quite simply using a using a turntable and and basically making it um, switch around redstone signal, but I don't quite have that set up. I don't think. Um, is this gonna work? Oh no no wait gosh we need to do this for ages. All right. Ah <sighs> da 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 da. Maybe I should have made it a button. A button. A button would have made sense. Okay, well, we got two pot ash. Let me grab that out. We will achievement get. And then basically, we just need to make nether brick. Place nether sludge in a better with mods kiln to cook it into nether bricks. Consult the book of single on how to assemble a kiln. Consult the book on single? Really? Okay, well, let's, let's look at NEI because that will hopefully make sense. Nether bricks. This this is the goal is to be able to make unfired nether bricks, nether sludge, potash, 
plus hellfire dust. More hellfire dust? Gonna make more hellfire dust. Well, that, that seems like so much fun is more hellfire dust. Uh, e, uh, uh, oh, 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 right, yeah, okay, so we've got all this set up. Um, where was the, the dust? The dust! It was in here somewhere, I'm sure of it. Or do I need to make more? I brought back a whole bunch of nether bricks, hoping that would, that would work really, really well. Um, do, 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 do. we're gonna need to make a little bit more. That's cool, we can make a little bit more. Oh, I don't think that turns into thing. Okay, so I got two, I've got two Hellfire Dust to make one nether brick sludge, and I need four. Which means I'm gonna need to grind up more of that into that. Cool. Um, we've got medium in there. Yep, cool, right. Man, we're so close to, so close to doing a thing. So close to doing a thing. Come on, come on, grind it up. Right, cool, 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 cool. Okay, so I've got this over here. Let's get this into here, and we'll make up some more of that. Yeah, oh, no, again with the cogs. Again with the cogs. What is it with you cogs? Getting in my way, messing up my stuff. I think they disappeared, actually. I don't... I don't know where the cogs went. <laughs> they, they got mashed. You gotta watch out for that. That's crazy. That thing's gonna mash up all your cogs. Okay, right. Um... Nether sludge goes into the cauldron for hellfire dust to one of those. One of those for hellfire dust to one of those. Is that enough just to do I need to do I need to do something special with it? I think they they sh it should just Yeah, it is it is just cooking. So, we've got a bit of dual purpose going on here. And then basically we need to fire these suckers into regular bricks which is going to require a stoked kiln uh which is i think actually pretty sh straightforward i think it's just some bricks so why why are they cooking up i'm gonna just go grab some more more bricks um we should have a whole heap in here hopefully but regular bricks yeah we got regular bricks look at that regular bricks Woo! Oh, so close to so close to achieve so close to a jeep, okay. And I think, I think again, this is a multi-block structure, so we should just be able to build this around. Oh wow, we get quite a bit of sludge out of that. Cool, let's turn that off, because I'm a little bit worried I'm gonna set this on fire and we're gonna lose all that hard work. Smash this out, okay. And this is supposed to be pretty straightforward, I think. <laughs> Uh, famous last words. Famous last words. Um, assuming I can get up here and finish the construction on this this thing. Ah, oh, this. We're at the crucial part of the episode where all our infantry gets filled up with everything. Okay. Uh, nope. I need that one there, and and that goes there. That goes there, and we should be able to turn that on. Throw that in and start stoking. Ah. In theory. In theory, this is a multi-block structure and it's supposed to... Ah. It's supposed to... Ugh, don't burn my stuff. It's supposed to be a stoked kiln. gum. It's supposed to be a stoked kiln. But I don't know if it actually is a stoked kiln. Um, um, I forgot to turn them into bricks. That that might be the problem. Let's let's at least turn them into. Ah, okay, so <laughs> I forgot to turn them into bricks. Up, oh, yeah, all right, okay, okay, and then we just gotta like. <sighs> and we sh oh yeah, look, it's it's working, it's working, it's doing something. No, oh, it's cracking. Look at that. Look at that. And I I also had I think one too many bricks on it as well. It only takes four, not five. Yeah! We have a nether brick! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All that for a nether brick. I mean, remember we, in regular Minecraft you can just bake nether rack straight into a, into a nether brick? Well, not Sevtech. Sevtech, you gotta do everything the hard way. So basically, we now do a whole bunch of bricks and then we can make a blast oven furnace. Ba basically we're doing all that so we can do all this to make 
this to make this and then we can actually get steel and move forward on with the game i think that's enough for one day gosh that, that was a bit of a a um a, a bit janky episode i knew it was going to be tough i knew it was going to be really difficult to work all the way through all these recipes and build this monstrosity um and i knew this this had to be coming for a while but oh we did it we built this thing now what am I going to do is I, I need to make a lot of these nether bricks. So I'm going to tidy this up. I'm going to automate this. There is an automate automation system I've seen for this and that and make a whole bunch. And so next session, we are going to work on the blast furnace and start making ourselves some steel. And maybe we even figure out these nether boards. But anyway, that's goodbye from me. If you enjoyed this session, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below uh, or even leave a comment about how maybe how you would have done this or how you've made the kiln work or even just let me know your favorite part and then that way I can sort of let go hey people like that I'll do that um, where at the moment I just sort of guess <laughs> just sort of guess what you people like <laughs> anyway folks that's all from me and I will catch you in the next session